here is another nice section through his skin. You could see the epidermis here. You could see the dermis throughout here. You could see a couple of sebaceous glands over here. You could see a lot of pigmented cells over here. And even from this power, you could see that in the general area between the dermis and the epidermis, in which melanocytes often live classically, there appears to be some increased numbers of melanocytes as well. So we know already that this is some type of melanocytic tumor and melanocytic tumors are by definition called nevi, which is the plural of nevus. Sometimes melanocytic tumors, when they are abundantly pigmented, they look like this. Sometimes when uh, melanocytic melanocytes are not pigmented, they may look like this. And there's a whole wide variety of nevuses. Um, there's too many to count. They're extremely confusing. But the thing that must be evaluated in every nevus is, is this benign or is this a precursor or a downright malignant melanoma? Because when melanocytes are benign, they're called nevi. And when melanocytes are malignant, they're called malignant melanoma. Well, let's try to determine that. Up here, there's a lot of pigment in them. Although, if, for example, these uh, melanocytes were chewed up by histiocytes, the pigment might then be inside of the histiocytes, and it would then be called a melanophage. Whereas, if the pigments stay inside of the nevus cells, they um, are called melanocytes. Notice that these are all melanocytes. These are melanocytes, which are much more heavily pigmented. All of this is epidermis. Here's epidermis. You could see prickle cells or stratum spinosum here. You could see the stratum corneum out here. You can see this is all uh, melanocytes in here. Some are more heavily pigmented than others. But can I bring your attention to the fact that the majority of these nevus cells look kind of spindly? And for this reason, it was given the diagnosis spindle cell nevus. And because many of these spindly cells, as well as other cells, are very heavily laden with pigment, it is furthermore, furthermore called a pigmented uh, spindle cell nevus. And even though these nevus cells uh, are quite prolific in this area, notice two things they do not have significant atypia. And even though they may push up towards the epidermis, they do not buckshot the epidermis. In other words, you do not see spindly or pigmented cells within the uh, mid-body of the epidermis itself, although these basal cells often do generally push up as a group. For this reason, it is uh, regarded as benign. It looks benign, but it is also the kind of lesion that could worry even an experienced person. You would still want to get another opinion on this because there is a significant amount of what they call junctional activity here or uh, nevus cell activity at the junction of the dermis here and epidermis here. This is a benign pigmented spindle cell nevus. Thank you very much.